tonight. We hit the museum tonight. And this time, that meddlesome bug won't be able to stop me. Mind if I drop in? No, fuck off. Hey everybody, green screen GTA character here. And welcome to Rating the Suits, where I'm going to rate all the suits from every 3D Spider-Man game, hopefully. And just, you know, rate them, because I I'm the Spider-Man expert here, I'd say. Last time we covered the suits in Never Saw Spider-Man, the first 3D Spider-Man game. And now, we're moving on to its sequel, Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro. Which, funny enough, is still on the PlayStation 1, so we're still gonna have to deal with the polygons for now. Until the next game. I feel like I should explain like some of the rules or like the bullet points of what I'm going by in my head when I'm choosing what's a good suit and what's a bad suit to me. So here's the few bullet points that I pretty much going by. So does it look good? Does it look bad? Is it cool looking? Or why, why, why the fuck is this here? Comic accuracy helps, but it doesn't need to be the exact same rip from the comic. It could be its own thing or a variant of the costume. And it, and it could still look cool. Or not. And thirdly, would you wear this suit? Like, would you put it on for the remainder of the entire game because you like it that much? Do you put it on occasionally here and there because it's neat? Or you just forget it ever existed and you never put it on and you sometimes wish another costume was there instead of what was there. You know what I'm saying? So with the rules established, I'm gonna talk about the game I just played because it was my first time. And then after that, we'll talk about the suits. You can always skip whenever you want, it's okay. And yeah. I would like to quickly thanks for like 100 subscribers. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much. That's, that's a lot of people. And uh, I celebrated with a little stream. I wouldn't recommend watching it, so maybe I'll make a compilation video from it and add in more clips. You know, funny moments. Haha. <laughs> okay, um, thank you for watching. And one more thing, I meant to say, um, Todd McFarlane when I was talking about the eyes in this video, in the, in the last video. And I accidentally said Seth McFarlane, so, uh, oops. But yeah, let's move on to the gameplay. Uh, review, well, not a review, um, whatever. Yay. Whoa. You're not as dumb as you look. <laughs> Shocker. Look <laughs> uh -huh. You know, for the sequel to the first game, I really wasn't expecting that much. But uh, it turned out to be a very fine, fun sequel. They had m a new cast of villains to fight and appear, which was really neat. However, um, the bosses were a little bit too gimmicky, I'd say. But I, I can handle it because cause I'm a gamer, okay? I can't handle anything. Except for this mission where the fucking enemies hit you for half your health and you almost die in two hits. I didn't know I was fighting fucking super soldiers, Christ. And what the fuck was up with this plane mission? It, it confused me so badly. And and I, I kind of feel like an idiot, like, of course you're supposed to web up the plane, right? But 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 when you web up the, the plane, it's like you're steering it. So you, okay. you you imagine like, oh, maybe, I, maybe I'm supposed to steer this thing to safety. I ran out of webbing! No! Wait, wait. <laughs> oh god. And Spidey even mentions a lever at the end, like, oh, there's a lever, maybe it'll open up a new hangar for this place, for this plane to go into. Alright. The door's shut. There has to be a switch somewhere. But, but no, you just had to, you just had to web it up. Like, entirely. Like, what, what the fuck, man? It's, 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 it's weird. We've got to clear these barrels out of the way. Uh. Thank you for yeah. traveling, Air Spidey. Well, besides all that, um, the new levels that take place in the ground are pretty fun and cool to explore. Um, and the bosses were kind of exciting, but like I said, gimmicky. I should say that this isn't the same people who made the last game. This is made by 
Vicarious Visions who made the Tony Hawk remasters. Which were pretty good games, let me tell you. I'm not too sure if there's anything else to say about this game. It only came out on the PlayStation, it's a sequel. It's pretty much the first game, kind of. And then after this, it's Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. Not to mention the fact that there's cut content for this game for sure, because of a certain tragedy. So the ending was pretty weak. But hey, at least they added some new suits in this game, so I can't wait to check them out. And uh, yeah, let's, let's do that right now. And oh boy, the classic suit? Mmm. Let's see it. This classic suit is so fucking good. Let me tell you, dude. It's so good. It's so good, in fact, that watching the cutscenes with this suit as he's moving around and doing his thing is really just so nice to watch. It has the perfect color of red, the perfect color of blue. They pretty much just touched up the last game's suit and made it, you know, a little better. As in, the webbing's back, and there's no, like, hue of orange anymore either. I still like the first game suit because of its novelty to the PlayStation era, and it's unique in that aspect too. In the sequel, it's more refined and looks nicer. Not to mention the fact this fucker has the armpit webs. Probably one of the coolest aspects of Spider-Man's costume that's been forgotten. Did you know the webbing under Spider-Man's armpits have no use but besides looking cool? Only in the MCU have we seen Spidey use the, 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 the armpit webs to actually, you know, glide and, you know, weave through buildings. Which is so weird because I thought it, it, that was the purpose of it all, but apparently not. Please, Insomnia, put in Spider-Man 2. Please, please, put in Spider-Man 2. That'd be so cool, please. I'm not too sure what else to say about this suit. I like how it looks. I like how Spidey moves in it. The lenses look just fine. I do miss the big ones from the last game, but you know, it's fine, it's whatever. And they really, really did not need to add the armpit webs, but the fact that they did just immediately bumped this bitch up to a 10. So this is a very much a 10 out of 10 spectacular suit. Spider Phoenix. What happens when the Phoenix Force merges with one spider-bitten hero? A cosmically powered headache for evildoers everywhere. So the Spider Phoenix suit is pretty much the replacement to the Cosmic Spider-Man from the last game. It is a pretty cool reference from the comic. And it's not a bad representation of the suit. I guess it comes down to what do you think red and gray kind of match together? What do you think that's a good combination of colors or not? I think it's fine. And they added the armpit webs too, which isn't unique to this costume, so you're gonna see more of that. And so that's that's cool, that's bonus points right there. However, there's one thing that's like weirding me out, and it's not just with the suit either. See look, his face looks fine, looks cool, right? But then BAM! Like like it can't just be me, right? Like his eyes look weird, it looks far apart, he looks um derpy. So with his weird fucking face in mind. And uh, the fact that they didn't really have webbing on this costume, which is which is fine, I'm sure, because I, I guess there's limitations still. So I can forgive the game for that. This is a 7. It's very neat. It's a good reference from the comics. It's in here. It looks cool. I like it. So 7 is where I think it perfectly fits. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? Prodigy. A recipe calling for three parts Spidey, one part Thunderbolts, and one part huge misunderstanding. So this costume um, is pretty much not Spider-Man. I mean, you can see with your eyes like, who, who the fuck is this guy? But that's the point. He wasn't supposed to be, you know, acting like Spider-Man. He was supposed to be acting like a different hero in the comics. But does that translate to a good costume? Um... I mean, if you like to pretend to be a different hero than Spider-Man, then I, I guess, but you're, g you're still gonna be shooting webs and shit. So with that in mind, it's really not a good costume. Sure, it looks just like the comics, but like, it's it's not Spider-Man, you know? And plus, for, to me, honestly, I, I really don't dig this costume design. 
However, Prodigy does look cooler later on, but uh, this variation of the suit is just, it's just not doing it for me, man. I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm just gonna put it into a number three. I, it's just bad to me, honestly. I, I don't like it. If you're a fan, please let me know why you like this costume for Spider-Man. Not whoever this guy is supposed to be. I have no idea who Prodigy is outside of Spider-Man, okay? But just, yeah, moving on. Dusk, even stealthier than the black suit, as Dusk Spidey strikes out from the shadows. Now we're talking. So if you like the symbiote suit, then this suit is just is just for you, man. It looks cool. It looks badass. I will say that this suit translates a lot more better than the Spider Phoenix from before, which I give a pass on, right? Like, I'm fine with how it looks. But this suit looks just perfect. And it has its own patterned uh, armpit webs too, which just adds to Dusk, you know, this costume. Unlike Prodigy, which is just the yellow blue, like, weird strongman, like, costume, I guess. I could see, I, I, I could definitely see Spider Man putting this on, you know. I would definitely use this suit if it came back to use for stealth. Like, if it came back in Spider Man 2, like, oh, imagine. I'm gonna do what I did to the symbiote in the last game and put this at a 10. It looks very good, it translates very good, and it's just fucking cool, okay? A suit made of rubber insulation may come in handy should Spidey face any electrically powered opponents. I remember unlocking this suit in Shattered Dimensions, man. Good times, good times. It's a very good looking suit, and it makes sense for this game, cause, uh, cause, um, you know, you know um, there's a, there's a guy called Electro, like, he's a villain, he's a bad guy, he shoots electricity, you, you get it? For this era of PlayStation, like, early games, it's, it's not a bad, uh, representation of the suit. It looks good, it looks like the insulated suit, and you get the armpit webs as a bonus. I can see they didn't commit with the making the mask blue as well, but, you know, that's yeah, that's, that's okay. That's whatever, you'll get a pass. Literally any game after this, after the PlayStation era, I will not be as lenient, okay? Although, now that I'm looking at more of the mask, it, 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 it is missing the big lenses, right? And the fact that it's the weird, like, derpy, spread apart eyes. Like, like, it, it's just freaking me out, man. I don't... Well, it can't just be me that's, like, seeing that's weird. I'm surprised they didn't use the suit uh, as, like, a part of the story. So that, that's, a, that's a bit of a missed opportunity. But all in all, it's a very cute looking suit. Very lightly colored, and it's it's going into the neat. It's very, it's very neat. It's a 7. Man, we're, we're flying by fast, aren't we? Spidey with a makeover at the hands of the now legendary Alex Ross. Okay, now this suit looks a little familiar, right? It looks a little superior. Well, uh, it's not actually. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Alex Ross suit did inspire the superior Spider-Man suit. Anyways, if you're wondering what this suit even is, basically it's made by a man named Alex Ross, no duh. And it was made for the Spider-Man movie coming up. Well, it was more of a concept idea, right? Like, you wouldn't imagine, like, Spidey in his big movie wearing this, right? So if you're wondering, uh, what, 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 what did they choose then, huh? It is pretty neat to see this suit in this game, right? Like, it's pretty cool. And it shows up in the next game as well. Not to mention the fact that it has its own art pit, like, webbing. Like, like, it has its own, like, unique. It's pretty cool. Although, putting it in the rating system, I'm very conflicted on, right? So, I'm just gonna stick it into a great. It's a concept suit, right? It's a cool looking concept suit, I think. But that's what it is, it's a concept idea, right? That never came to fruition. But wait, if you didn't like it in red, then maybe you'll like it in white. It's like the Spidey armor, but now it's for the Alex Ross suit. So that's pretty neat, but uh... Yeah, it's just white now. There's a joke in there somewhere, but I'm, I'm just not going to attempt it.
for all of you that haven't read Earth X, Spidey was nice enough to model Venom 2's outfit for you. Yeah, remember when I said I was a Spidey expert? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what the fuck this suit was when I first saw it. Like, all I can think of is just meat. That, that sounded weird, that sounded wrong. Uh, basically, if you want to know quick lore, um, this is basically the same Venom suit, but in this universe, it's been rehabilitated by the daughter of Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson, May Parker, and I guess that's why it's red now. Now it's Peter wearing it in this game to show it off, like Stanley said. With that being said, it um doesn't look that great in this game. <laughs> I, I should be fair since it's still PlayStation, right? But it just looks like straight up raw meat. It should look cool like, you know, black and red, but it's just red and pink. It just... Ugh. I'm still gonna put it at a decent 5. Despite what I said, it still looks like a, like a weird veiny symbiote suit and the glowing red eyes that are big, kinda kind of sell it you know so it looks it still looks cool but I I wouldn't put it on personally the negative zone is a strange and sometimes terrifying alternate universe one that can affect a hero in a variety of ways and so with the final suit is the negative zone suit and not gonna lie this is a pretty accurate depiction so far even though comic accuracy isn't everything like i said before the fact that it kind of looks like the same from the comic to the game says a lot especially the lenses it's the same and it looks cool as shit plus you got the armpit web so yeah that's nice that's nice yeah Honestly, I, I just I like this more than what Atomiac did with their negative zone suit. Like it's just the same advanced suit, but you know it's black and white. While this suit, it's more faithful to the comic, and it just looks better. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, what can I say? They did the suit justice. It looks cool. It looks good. Would I wear it? Not really, but hey, it, it's a cool fucking suit. So I think. It deserves a 10. Oh come on, you didn't think I would forget one of the best suits in this game, right? That they introduced? You think this is a bit? No, I, I fucking love when Spidey gets his shit kicked in, right? I love that. And when his suit gets like ripped and like fucking scratched and just fucking mauled, like god damn. People can underestimate that this guy can get his shit kicked in hard. Like really hard. So I appreciate when games like show that there's an actual struggle like his suit doesn't appear just fine like he's actually fighting a fucking battle. This is obviously a 10 and I can't wait to see in the future when other battle damage spider suits will appear because I'm gonna love them. Hey you made it to the end of the video congrats. Thank you very much for watching me ramble about fucking suits from a PlayStation 1 game 20 years ago. If you think I'm gonna skip over fucking Spider-Man 1, Sam Raimi, then, then you gotta you got another thing coming, okay? What, there's only like three suits? I don't fucking care. I did forget to mention that they did bring all the suits from the first game to this game. And only tweaked some few things like on the symbiote suit, they have like the the white thing on his hands and for the 2099 suit he has the webs but it's like tattered so it looks fucking cool and they brought back the belt for the scarlet spider suit which is uh yeah that's pretty neat they really didn't need to do this but it shows that they cared about this game a lot i would normally like end this video with like a bit but i have nothing that comes to mind right now <laughs> I, I i don't know how to end this so um if you like it a lot um then please like it, and uh, if you really like it a lot, then why don't you go ahead and subscribe? You know, it's there, just press the fucking button, you know, I'm not your dad, I'm not your mom, don't, you don't have to do it. Um, and uh, yeah, enjoy the outro. See ya.